Hello, so I'm wearing the PMK4 that Noah101 has lent me, so a big thank you to him again, and I wanted to do a video testing it with a few different styles of helmet. Now, I don't actually have any modern Russian helmets, so, other than that riot helmet. So, I don't have any helmets that, you know, this would probably be designed to go with. So, I thought it'd be interesting to see how does it fit with a couple of steel pots and a couple of modern helmets. So, first up, the helmet it definitely wasn't designed to work with, uh, the Swiss M71 style helm. So let's see if this fits with it. Sort of. Um, the buckles on the top of it are colliding a bit with the liner in the helmet, but you would at least get head protection with this on. You know, the helmet is sort of covering the bits it's meant to cover. Obviously with loads of helmets, if you are using them with a respirator, you do need custom straps because the respirator takes up a lot more room where your chin is than if you had a normal, you know, helmet. Yeah, so this one I think would at least, um, you know, sit low enough that you'd get your head protection. So there's that. So that sort of works. That's good. Right, next, let's try the Yugoslav um, M51. Sorry, not M51. Yugoslav, is it M53? I can't remember the designation of this one now. But the old sort of Yugoslavian steel pot helmet. And this one, sadly, uh, is a bit too wide. Well, the mask is a bit too wide for it to slump down on it properly. So that is a shame. Because this is one of my favourite steel pots. But apparently, it's just a bit too, um, you know, the mask is just a bit too wide for the brim of the helmet. So that one's a bit of a fail with it. Okay, let's try this modern Chinese helmet. The thermoplastic one. I guess that sort of works. Um, you could probably take some of the padding out and you could get one with a bigger head circumference. But it sort of sits where it should sit, I guess. I prefer it to be a bit lower myself. But I guess that's kind of how it's meant to sit on there. I put some of the tactical rail things on it because, you know, hype sent them me. So I think it would work with a lot of, um, you know, Mitch style helmets, depending on the circumference of them again, because the straps are going to collide with them a bit. And now let's try it with my favourite helmet, the um, Virtus helmet, you know, like the improved DCH. And again, that works all right, especially when you tighten it. But again, the straps on the PMK kind of do push into the helmet a bit. So you could wear it where it would give you pretty good head protection, but this, the problem with this mask is, as much as I like this one compared to the old PMKs, the strap design does still jut out a bit at the sides, you know, in the top. So you're adding a bit more bulk to the size of the mask, especially with like that bit there. So helmets don't go as flush as they could go. Because um, obviously there's been some masks I've tried where like nearly every single helmet works with them because they're just pretty slimline masks. So there you go, the PMK4 will fit with some non-Russian helmets, but results may vary depending on, I guess, how much your straps stick out and how extra wide your helmet is, because if you've got a helmet that's slightly too big for you, it might be alright, but if your helmet's a comfortable fit with, you know, outer mask on, it's not going to fit very well with one of these, I imagine. 